Merry Christmas, everybody. I am so excited today because it's just, what, like a couple days away from Christmas? And that's why I'm, you know, dressed for the holiday. Now, today I want to make some Christmas cookies. In the past couple years, I have made Christmas cookies, and people seem to really enjoy them. So this year, I'm going to do one of my favorites, which is nut sticks. Now, I don't know where else what they're called elsewhere around the world, but here in the great big Christmas Bruderhof Christmas cookbook, they're called nut sticks. So woo, nut sticks. So as I bake today, I'm going to tell you about some of the fun things that our family has been doing this Christmas season. And trust me, we've been doing a lot. It's been very fun. And I think just as my boys get bigger, it's just been getting funner and funner, the things we do and more on that later. But first, we're going to start with getting going, making the actual cookies. So nut sticks, they are amazing. Um, basically what it is, it's like flour, nut meal, and this is almond nut meal. You can use pecan meal as well, um, and chopped whole almonds, and flour, and sugar, and butter. You can put cinnamon in if you'd like. There's eggs in there. I'll get to it in a minute. So first is going to be a cup or half a pound of butter. Okay. So one cup of butter, and now it's two and a half cups of sugar. So my utensil drawer is quite handy. And oof, I have this insanely. Oof, huge bit of sugar, but that's not just for our family. We're not on a complete sugar high the whole time, although it may seem like it. That's shared by five different families, four different families that use this kitchen. And it may come as a surprise, but it does work. Okay, so one, two, and I'm just gonna eyeball two and a half cups of sugar. Okay, so I have, using this nice handheld Mixer, oops, whoop, whoop, there. Okay. Okay, so now I am just creaming the butter and the sugar together. Okay, so next, four eggs. And these eggs are actually free range eggs at the, that they grow here or that are laid here at the mount. I don't know what else you would say. There is a an amazing egg mobile. And it is basically these chickens live in this chicken trailer and they get moved from pasture to pasture where they can graze freely and like eat bugs and insects and worms during the day. And then at night there's they climb up this little ladder and they roost at night. It's really cool. It's part of the agri-science program here at the Mount Academy, which, for those of you who don't know, is a Bruderhof-run high school here in Esopus, New York, where I live. Mix them up. Okay, so two and a half teaspoons of salt. Two and, let's find the half. Okay, and then the next is going to be three cups of almond meal, almond nut meal. So, okay, so next is going to be five cups of flour. And I'm not going to use the other cup measure because it was contaminated with nuts. And because this is a shared kitchen area, I'm going to be using a fresh cup. One, two three, four, five. Okay. All right, so here we go. This bowl is pretty full, but. Let's see if my little mixer can handle it. Okay. All right, so my, my beaters are kind of carping out of it, so I am gonna use my hands. OK, 
Okay, so while it's nice and quiet, I'm going to tell you a little bit about all the fun we've been having this Christmas. So it started before Advent when we went to the local uh, community that is nearby to us, and that's Maple Community in Ulster Park. So it's like just down the road from us, like three miles away, and my parents live there. And there, a couple families there have this have been working for quite a few years on this gorgeous Christmas tree um, forest. And it's, I mean, it's not like a huge tall tree forest, but it's just a lot of Christmas trees that they've carefully tended and mown around every summer. So everybody from the Mount, the Mount community, we all went over and picked out Christmas trees this year, and it was a lot of fun. It was a big um, community event. So we cut the tree down and dug up the root, and then they have this, I didn't know that they do this, but they have this um, machine that shakes the tree and it gets out all the, like, the extra pine needles and the debris. So while this like contraption was shaking our tree, the tip snapped off the top. So Chris carefully tucked it into the tree and then he carefully, I don't know, wired it back together when we brought it into our house. Anyway, and then the boys helped us decorate, which was a lot of fun, but as you can see, well, the bottom branches are really la heavily laden with little drums or something. <laughs> but it is kind of fun. They really enjoyed themselves, and it was a really fun family, family experience. And then Branson also had this big wish to draw a star on a piece of paper and cut it out, and that it would be for the top of the tree. And he kept trying and trying to... Um, we went through a lot of paper, and so we finally got to the point where we decided to cut the star out and hang it on the wall. So there's a little wall in our house with the artwork that the children made. So, Okay, so next I'm going to chop the almonds. And I have a little bag here of almonds. So now I'm adding a, about a cup and a bit, a heaping cup of chopped almonds. Add a little more crunch. Okay, another fun thing that we did with the boys was I made wreaths um, out of wood cookies or wood discs. I call them wood cookies just because they look like a cookie. <laughs> um, so we found driftwood, we found um, some cedar logs kind of cut off from another like project that somebody was making. They made like a little pavilion. Um, and my father-in-law, Clem, sliced the logs into discs. And then I made some wreaths out of that. And then we also picked up pine cones. And the pine cone wreath isn't quite finished yet, but I'm making a pine cone wreath with Branson. Um, and we're going to give them away as gifts, and Branson's big wish was to give the wreaths to people that don't get to have lots of things for Christmas. So we're going to see if we can find somewhere to give a special wreath to. Um, and so that was a lot of fun. We went and picked up pine cones, and it was very exciting for the boys. We also picked up... Um, like smaller pine cones from larch trees, and I've stuck them onto the other wreaths too, so it's, I think they're very pretty. Okay, so I think the moment has come. The tray, now the tray here. Hey, can I have the plastic wrap? <laughs> so here we have some stretch tight premium plastic food wrap, 500 square feet, food safe, obviously. I'm gonna put this down on the tray because this is not its final form. I'm going to press it onto the tray and then I'm going to score it with a ruler, which is somewhere, and a knife. And then I'm going to put it in the freezer to let it um, chill and then it'll be easier to take apart and bake. So, in case you didn't know it already, here in the Bruderhof, we have a wonderful tradition of 
singing of Christmas singing. And for those of you that did not see it, it premiered on December 20th, but we did a, another Christmas spectacular where we had um, people from the Bruderhof from all over the world singing different um, Christmas songs. And it was a lot of fun. Um, and there was amazing talent, I thought, <laughs> and also just like a lot of variety and a lot of fun. So we have been doing quite a bit of singing with Branson and Xander, which has been a lot of fun. And recently, Xander has really started just like singing a lot. And it's hard to understand what he's singing, but when you know the song, you can kind of catch the drift. Anyway, so that's been a lot of fun. And then another thing, which has actually been my favorite part of Christmas so far, is Branson's playgroup. They did a performance of Babushka, and Branson was a camel, and it was awesome. I absolutely teared up and was dying with laughter all in one moment. I had like this big like rush of like mother love, I guess you want to call it, but it was so sweet. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna be cutting the nut sticks. I have a ruler here and I'm gonna cut each one of these into, or this into, I don't know how many it's gonna make, but it'll, I'm gonna do four inches by three eighths of an inch. Okay, so I know you probably can't see from there, but I have scored this whole thing up into sticks and I'm gonna put it into the freezer just to let it set a little bit and I'm gonna fire up the oven and then we'll bake them. All right, so I just pulled these out of the freezer and I will get a metal spatula and I will attempt to pry them out. Be prepared for a bit of a mess. So one very fun thing that happens every year that's a bit of mount tradition every year the Tompton comes now the Tompton is I guess like a mythical creature or I guess creature that comes it's this you can look it up but basically it's this little short man with a long beard and he takes care of animals and this kind of tradition or folklore comes all the way from Scandinavia anyway so Actually, my father-in-law, don't tell the boys, but their grandpa, Clem, every year dresses up as the Tompton with a long beard and glasses and a big nose and a big hat. And you can't tell, like he dressed up so you can't tell that it's him. So he, every year, um, he, the Tompton, this fictional guy, lives in the little garage, old garage that's next to the farmhouse, which is where they live. And so this year... I've, we've made it a little bit fun for the boys and we put a welcome Tompton to the mount, like plate of cupcakes, and we put it in the garage. And so then every year, the Tompton makes a little showing for the children and he comes and he lights a little fire and kind of walks around a bit. And then he leaves chocolates for the children. So it's like a bit of a tradition at the mount. Okay, so it looks like we are ready. I'm just gonna push this away, and I'm gonna pop these in the oven. All right, I'm gonna pull these out. They smell so good. Okay, and I'm gonna have to try one. Ooh, they're insanely hot, but in my, in my Christmas cup of cheer, these are dunkers. Ah, <laughs> how hot. <laughs> they are amazing. Mm. Merry Christmas. <laughs>